you're watching episode number 14 of windows 360 for masterclass and in this episode we are going to learn how can you secure windows 365 using a fido2 key fitian has kindly sent me this package of different types of fido keys you can see that this package include different types or different kinds of keys you can use to secure your password i'll make sure to put the link in the description so this has a multi-pass, e-pass, i-e-pass, all-in pass keys, things like that. And we are going to use this all-in pass key to log into the cloud PC. So let's learn how to configure this. To enable passwordless security, you need to follow some requirements and there are some prerequisites. All of that is mentioned in this particular article. So I'll make sure to put that link in the description. And there is another Microsoft article which talks about the supported providers. So we are going to use Fitian today. The keys which Fitian have sent me which supports all the available options like biometric, USB, NFC, Bluetooth and FIPS certified. If you want to understand the different types of product what they offer or want to purchase it, you can go to their website directly. And for Microsoft users, currently there is a discount option available for different products as well. The first step to configure this FIDO key to accept in your Azure is to go to your Azure portal. You can go to portal.azure.com and we are going to configure this in our Azure tenant first. So within that, you can search for Azure Active Directory or Entra ID. So go to your Entra ID and under Manage, scroll down till you see security so click on security within that again under manage you would be able to see authentication methods so click on that option under authentication methods again under manage there is something called policies so we're going to select policies within policies you can see there are different methods available one of the option is the fido2 security key so right now as you can see in my tenant it is disabled or not turned on so i'm gonna select that under enable and target click on enable in the next tab there is a configure button so click on configure we're gonna retain allow self-service setup uh, we're gonna turn on enforce attestation and on the bottom of the screen click on save now if i go back you can see that under the authentication method fido2 security key is targeted for all users and it is enabled within my tenant now let's perform some end user specific configuration so what we are going to do is we are going to create some conditional access policies for that i'm going to go back to my microsoft entra id and on the left hand side scroll down till you find security click on security and under protect click on conditional access so we're going to create a conditional access for the windows 365 app there are a couple of ways a user can access Windows 365. One is using the Windows 365 app and another is using a browser. So we're going to configure a policy for both. So first let's go and create a new policy and I'm going to name the policy now. I'm going to name it as Fido2 Key MFA for Windows 365. Under users, click on users. Instead of adding to all users, I'm going to select a particular user now. So click on users and groups. The right way to do is to add it to a group. But since I'm testing, I'm going to assign to one user and I'm going to pick a user. The user I'm going to pick is Temaki. Select that after click on target resources. Here we are going to target it to selected apps. So under select, click on select, search for Windows 365 and under Windows 365, select Windows 365. And after that, scroll down till you click on grant. Here, we're going to select require multi-factor authentication. Click on select. Next, under session, if you want to configure this, you can go through these settings and select the appropriate one. So I'm going to select the sign-in frequency and I'm going to choose 8 hours because that matches the typical working day. And click on select. And under enable policy, Click on right now it is under report only so select turn on and click on create. So this now going through a validation process and after that it will create this policy successfully. 
So the next step, what we are going to try to do is we are going to configure the all pass security key, which I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So this is a remote session of a physical laptop, which is Surface laptop. I connected to it via TeamViewer. So let's go to devices, go to settings, click on Bluetooth and devices. So I don't have any devices at the moment. So you can either connect this particular FIDO2 key using Bluetooth or USB-C. So I'm going to connect it via USB-C and let's wait for that key to be picked up by this device. So I can see a blue tick box, which kind of mentions like the key is connected to the device. So click on view more devices. You can see that uh, the device is connected. So this is the key which I'm going to use to configure the security. For the next step, we are going to go to accounts and within accounts, click on sign in options and under sign in option, click on security key. And inside that, this is where you have to click to manage the device. So click on manage. So it is as allow asking me to touch the security key I'm touching. So first let's set up a key pin. So click on add. I provided the key pin. Now next step is to select the security key fingerprint. So that's what we are going to use now. So I'm going to provide the key pin now and I'm going to touch the fingerprint scanner to record the biometric. So all is set. I don't want to use any other finger. So click on done and let's close this. So the next step, what we can do is we can configure this to my account as well. So the Azure AD account. So to do that, um, let's go to browser, open the browser, go to aka.ms slash my security info and hit enter. So I logged in as this user. So this is the user. We are going to test this uh, FIDO key for your Windows 365. So right now, the only authentication method enabled is the password. I'm going to add one more sign in method. So choose a method here. I'm going to choose a security key and click on add to set up the security key. You need to sign in with the two factor authentication. Click next, click next. So let's start by getting the app. Click next. So I'm going to quickly configure the second verification before configuring the key. So now that the account is secure, let's go and configure the security key for this account. Let's go to the security info. I'm going to add a sign in method. This time select a method, select security key, click on add. And here we're going to use the USB device. So select the USB device, click next. And now it is going to redirect to my device to finish the setup. So I have to select the security key, click next, set up the security key, request the app. Okay. So I have to provide the fingerprint. I'm providing that. Pass key saved, click OK. My sign in with the security key is also registered with the Azure Active Directory. And I provided the name for the security key as well. And all the verification or all the configuration we need to use the FIDO2 key for this particular user account is being completed. All right, so now let's test uh, the Windows 365 for this user. So I'm going to go to windows365.microsoft.com and to access this, um, instead of providing the username and password, I'm going to provide the security key option. So click on sign in with security key and I'm going to provide my biometric and click next. So I'm going to touch the key one more time and it is going to automatically sign in to the account. So as you have seen it, um, so I didn't even provide the username and password sign in. It just used the fingerprint to automatically connect. So now if I want to connect to Windows 365, all I have to do is choose the right Windows 365 and click on connect and it automatically connects into my Windows 365. So let's run a speed test on my Windows 365 and this is hosted in Australia East and you can see the blazing speed or the internet bandwidth what I get in my cloud PC. I hope you found this video helpful and uh, you learned how to configure FIDO2 key to access your Windows 365.